Welcome to a new lesson in math for Standard 3. What can you do with a number? Let us find out. When you look at a number, you should be able to read the number. For example, 124. When you listen to someone speaking or reading a number, you should be able to write the number in figures. 124 is written as 1, 2, 4. You must also be able to write the number in words from its figures. Now, this is very interesting. Can you draw a number? Yes, you can. Use sticks or any other marks. Place the sticks in groups. A group of 10 sticks makes a 10. A big set of 10 groups of 10 makes a 100. For 124 we draw one big set of 100, two sets. Of ten and four individual sticks. You can also expand the number into units, tens and hundreds. One hundred and twenty-four will become one hundred. Two tens. Four units. You can also expand it in figures only. For example, 124 will give 100, 20, and 4. When you add numbers, you must be able to put the numbers in columns. Units under units. Tens under tens. Hundreds under hundreds. Again here, you should be able to place a number with the digits in the appropriate boxes. Units in the unit box. Tens in the ten box. And hundreds in the hundred box. You can also show a number in an abacus using beads. This is quite easy provided you place your beads in the right columns. For 124, you will place one bead in the 100 column, two beads in the 10 column, and four beads in the unit column. Now you can try to work out with other numbers. Take any number. Write it in figures. Read it aloud. Reading it aloud will help you to write it in words. Now write it down in words. Draw it. Place it in columns and in boxes. Place beads in an abacus to show the number. Now expand the number. There you are. This is how you can revise.